I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am in the tiny, tiny town of Steele, Missouri. I can't think of a smaller town I've been in. This is one of the smallest, for sure. I'm actually here. It's my second time in Steele, Missouri. I'm working on another project. It's finally filming is completed. Just the editing is not yet, probably. I'm not sure if you've seen it. I'm not sure what, what order I'm putting this stuff in. But... So to come to the same small town twice, like it's, I hate to use the term middle of nowhere, but it's really out in the middle of, it's not, there's no real close cities. And um, I'm far from Memphis, St. Louis, but it's just off the map a little bit. And if you look behind me, that's Steel High School. There's a high school, three benches outside or three picnic tables for lunch. That gives you an indication how small this place is. So I was driving by and I, I, I was like, is that what I think it is? Well, sure enough, it is. Right beside the parking lot, look, here's the parking lot, there's a basketball court, there's a school, and here's a cemetery. You don't see that too often, a cemetery with no name. There's Mount Zion Cemetery about two miles from here, which is a pretty big cemetery. But this one is just... I think I could even count the amount of plots that are here. Or graves, I should say. Maybe 50? Less than that? So I thought, well, I pass cemeteries all the time. I always, like, a tiny one side of the road. I always wanted to. I have been filming more of those, but smaller ones I really like. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a cemetery in a mall parking lot in Toronto. I've done a video on that. That was one of the weirder ones. But a cemetery in a high school parking lot is definitely different. As you can see, it's it's beautiful out here. Steel, Missouri. Look at the signs. School zone. <laughs> Not just a school zone, it's a cemetery zone. This is the Nelson family here. 1971, 1952. Let's walk over here. Allen, 1923. Oh, there's a little one here. 1933, December 26th. Look over here. Yeah, like I could go through this cemetery within five minutes. And if there's somebody that I knew that was here that I was looking for, man, it would be easy. This is the Petty family. Gone but not forgotten. And they definitely aren't, which is great to see. Look at the flowers. Here. Here. Just got a little baby here, a year old. Right there. So the sun's in my eyes, it's uh, it's impeding my filming because that's the west right there. So the sun's coming right at us and causing bad shadows. But I really want to stop and show you this. Uh, again, only two years old, one year old. Desi Nadine, daughter of Dale and Hattie Rutledge. And then Loma Nadine, daughter of Dale. Gosh. First daughter lived two years old. Second daughter, a few years later, again, two years old. It's heartbreaking. And we have a veteran here. The American flag. 
Robert Lee Hawley, Sergeant U.S. Army, World War II, Bronze Star Medal, Purple Heart. Incredible. Wow. Seems to be the Hawley family here I've seen. A few, few veterans in here. Oh yeah, U.S. Army, World War II, and Korea. Over here, 1918. Wow, but look at the flowers. This is what I, tell, I always say about small towns. Somebody, if it's not a family member, somebody in the small towns always come out. There's lots of flowers here. Little flowers, at each, almost at each grave. Earl McLean, McLean, World War II. Again, there's all Hollies here, the Holly family. Wow, Holly again. Laura May Brigance, Brigance, 1938. Brigance, what movie was that? Time to Kill, Jake, uh, Jake Brigance, right? Matthew McConaughey. Schrader, some nice flowers there. Little veteran. Corporal Air Service, World War I. So you pass a cemetery like this, most people just pass by. And I do too. I have to, you know, I'm on my way somewhere like everybody else. But you don't realize you're surrounded by people who are loved. Like you're not surrounded by it, but you're passing by people that were loved, but also by people who are genuine heroes. Oh, we've got the Ballantine family. Billy Burke. Mary Lou, Barbara Jo, Alice Jane, they all, oh, these are all, oh man, wow, five years old, not even a year, not even a year, not, uh, three years, not even a year, 16 days, James Edward Ballantyne and Leo Ballantyne, Leo made it to the ripe old age of 14 come on what's happening oh man very very sad looks like a whole family one two three four five six kids all died young George F. Treese 1905 to no date well good for him Makes him about 117, still going strong, George, wherever you are. Probably just haven't put that down yet, the the year. And here's the Ballantine parents. I'm assuming James Newton and Mary Ann. My gosh. What heartache and hardship they went through. kind of interesting there's people driving by on both sides I mean they are slowing down because I don't think they've seen somebody going through this cemetery with a camera before but not only is it odd and an oddity I'm also enjoying showing so thinking about the stories being behind people but showing just you know like uh, everybody here lived a life do you know what I mean everybody here lived some sort of life Probably a good life, if it was long enough, we hope. And probably, at one point, was really well missed by somebody. And those, those I mean, these are older graves now, 1927. This is a little different. No, 1820, no, 1927. So everyone, they're missed and loved at some point. And I hope that people are coming out, possibly still their family. Everett Woolbridge. Corporal 139 Infantry, 35th Division, World War I. Lived to 55 years old. Jeez. It's young. Got another sad one coming up. Gone to be angels. I like that. That's sweet. That's Joe K. Dodd. July 13th, 1929. Each two years, six months, 25 days. At rest. Oh, the little dog. You see that? That's Jim 
piece, buddy. Oh, man. I'm almost through most of the graves. The Smith family here. Susan Ida and William Burr, 1927 and 1948, they passed away. God gave, he took, he will restore, he doeth all things well. We got a small one here. Can't even read that. Hayslip. Another small one. Smith family again. If this is a kid, it's gonna. Ah. Oh. Pokey. August 5th, 1924. Mary Sue. She's born in May, March. She died three weeks later, 1926. And then Pokey, Mary Sue. Shelley and Bourbon was the name, right? Is this the parents? William. No, Susan. So they're related somehow, but they're not the parents. Ah, a lot of little kids in this cemetery. What's this one? Nineteen thirteen to nineteen fifteen. Little Zelda. Little children are his. I can't read what that says. Little children are his. Well, it's. I can't read what it says, but maybe angels? I don't know. Claude Tubbs. Three years old. Our darling baby. Um, what is that? This, I'm, I'm seeing so many. Ezra Tubbs and wife. Claude Tubbs. Little Claude. Three years old. Our darling baby. Infant daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Brewer, our darling. 1926. Dewey Crawford. Dewey. And that is where the cemetery ends. Right here. W.G. Pounds family. Okay, son, grandchild, stillborn baby Hendrix. Son, Jesse, only lived to 23. Son, John, only lived to 27. Daughter, 27. Mother, Tennessee Bell, 53 plus 20. A, we're looking at 81. Father, 33 and 33, 66. Wow. All the kids died so young. This is like the saddest cemetery I've ever been to. 1988, 1919, it's still 269, looks like. The old stone here. Oh, this is sadder than I thought it was going to be, for real. Look at, half of these are kids. So, from this tiny cemetery, if you want to find it, just come to Steele, Missouri, to uh, and look for Steele High School. I think that's a middle school across the street. And you're here. It's right there. Rest in peace, everyone that's in here. And uh, it's heartbreaking, right? You're seeing it too for your with your eyes mine at the same time. These little kids. Ah, oh, there's nothing more heartbreaking. I thought it'd be a cool little video. You know, show you a cemetery in a high school parking lot. Then uh, okay. Thanks for watching. Peace out.